Welcome to the Kuiper Belt, a disc-shaped sector past Neptune that expands about 30 AU to 50 AU. Here, we will explore true facts about trans-Neptunian objects. Now that I've properly introduced the topic, you probably have a lot of questions like, what's a trans-Neptunian object and why are they important? Well, my friends, you have come to the right place. That's what she said! <laughs> a trans-Neptunian object is anything within our solar system that's further from the sun than Neptune. Like that friend who's into essential oils but not healing crystals. It's probable that the objects within the Kuiper Belt are remains from the early phases of growth of our solar system. Tinos are mostly confined within this thick band around our solar system, which forms a ring or a belt shape. It is widely believed that the belt is the source of most, if not all, of the short period comets, which are comets that take less than 200 years to complete an orbit around the sun and complete their life cycle. Scientists believe there are 700,000 objects bigger than 20 miles across that are yet to be discovered in the belt. See? Size does matter. trans objects, or TNOs as their friends like to call them, are much more difficult to see because of their low albedo. An albedo is a measurement of how much light from the sun a planet reflects back into space. Compared to Earth's .30 albedo, most of them only have albedos of .09. <laughs> Losers. The first loser, uh, uh, I mean, uh, transit to an object he discovered was little Pluto in 1930, and we gladly introduced him to be part of the family. He was the precious little child for 62 years. You brave little soldier. Pluto was demoted from being a planet due to the discovery of Eris in 2006 and is now merely a Kuiper Belt object. Ah, 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 staying alive. Pluto, how does that make you feel? walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, uh, moving along. The second trans Neptunian object ever found was 15760 Albion in 1992. What a creative name, right? It's not even large enough to classify as a dwarf planet, which we'll learn about later. Its discovery suggests that there could be other planets within our solar system beyond Pluto, a notable example of which is Pluto and the moon Charm. Let's check back in on how Pluto is doing knowing that his status as a planet is now in jeopardy following the discovery of Albion. Pluto, how's it going? Okay, uh, moving along. A dwarf planet is a celestial body orbiting around the sun that isn't a satellite of a planet and one that is massive enough to form a more or less spherical shape, but not massive enough to clear away all or almost all bodies in the vicinity of its orbit. So basically, it's a 1v planet. Xena, discovered in 2005, is roughly the same size as Pluto, but is three times as far from the sun. Because it appeared larger than Pluto, however, in 2006, a decision was made to remove Pluto's planetary status. For this reason, scientists decided to rename this dwarf planet Eris, after the Greek goddess of discord. Its moon, Diosima, was named after the demon goddess of lawlessness and the daughter of Eris. Talk about complete homewreckers. Although he is still one of the largest Tinos and retains his status on the dwarf planet, he has been effectively disowned now by the eight planets of the solar system. Uh, Pluto, how you doing, bud? I don't need friends. They disappoint me. New Horizons is a space probe that was launched on January 19, 2006. It has greatly helped scientists discover more TNOs and learn about previously recognized ones. It flew by Pluto in 2015 and spotted another TNO named Ultima from 100 million miles away. Although Ultima initially looked like just another star in the Kuiper Belt, scientists were able to magnify the image and pull out a background star field template that was previously taken by the spacecraft's telescopic imager. New Horizons will fly by Ultima by the beginning of next year, making the farthest exploration of any planetary body in history. As of 2018, there are 408 numbered TNOs and more than 2,000 unnumbered TNOs. Oh yes, I see. Good news, everyone! According to NASA, transitinian objects are now known as plutoids. <laughs> Does it feel good? Uh. Cut to the credits!